This is a Bible. It is the best-selling, most influential book in history. It has been banned, burned, smuggled, fought for, lived for, and even died for. And yet many of us hardly know what's in it. I started Veggie Tales as a way to bring specific stories out of the Bible and bring them to life for families. And now I'm bringing the entire Bible to life for families, walking them all the way through the Bible from Genesis to Revelation and answering our big questions like, where did this book come from? Who wrote it? Why do we think we can trust it? And what difference does it make in my life? There's never been a better way to introduce your family to God's word. It's called Buck Denver Asks What's in the Bible? And it goes something like this. Genesis begins it all. I took a bus from Texas just to sing a song about Exodus. Boaz and Ruth have a son named Obed, who has a son named Jesse, who is the father of King David. Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers. Read a little every day before you slumber. Cap it all off with a trip through Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. What do we mean when we say the Bible is true and trustworthy? Wait a minute. Why do different Bibles have different numbers of books? Who picked the books to be in the Bible? What's the difference between smart and wise? That's a great question. And Saul became jealous. He was filled with envy and a hatred. Yes, King Saul turned to the dark side. Thirty-nine kings for Israel and Judah. Thirty-nine kings, mostly nasty, mean, and rude. Job and Psalms and Proverbs, Ecclesiastes and Song of Solomon. Harry Sheep Teeth, the end. These are the prophets, there ain't none fire. They're in two sections called the Major and the Minor. After slogging through the entire Old Testament, it's time for the good news. So Jesus shows up and announces that the kingdom of God is back. Then he gives everyone a taste of what that kingdom is like through his miracles. There will be no hunger. Bam! He feeds 5,000 people just like that. There will be no sickness. Boom! He heals people. The crippled, the blind, whatever is broken about us is fixed the way it was supposed to be. So all of Jesus' followers were together, and suddenly it sounded like a huge wind filled the house, and then something that looked like little tongues of fire came down on each one of them. The Holy Spirit gave Peter the power to get up and speak an amazing message about who Jesus was. Peter proclaimed the good news. Something happened on Pentecost. Would you like to know? Yeah, come on, let's hear it. God sent a helper on Pentecost. The name of the helper. It's the Holy Spirit. Don't miss more fun with me and my friends at jellytelly.com!